Welcome back to another episode of Bridge Bricks TV. We're with Brent Waller uh, and his custom builds. This one being a chromatic scale, Brent. What are you got going on? I, I, this one's spectrum of space, I call it. Oh, I like it, yes. The so this is my spectrum. way. I've had all these custom uh, spacemen torsos printed up a couple of years ago for myself. And uh, I wanted a way to display them in something interesting. So not just a display case with some minifigs in it. So after doing this Grogu one over here, yeah, so I'd we saw that, that one last year, didn't we? Uh, I'm not sure if it, I posted it online. I'm not sure well, if I bought it. Anyway. We had it once on show. I can't remember. Yep. But after doing that one, I thought, oh, what? I'll do sort of greebly rainbow spectrum of all the spacemen, and have each strip uh, has a spaceman associated, except for one because the printing didn't get done. All oh, right, so there's a hidden find there's a hidden one, one without, without a spaceman. spaceman. Yeah, all right, nice. And uh, I see you've thrown in a couple of other characters as well that are hidden in there. Yeah, so if they didn't have a helmet. I've tried to get a uh, appropriate coloured head or helmet or hair if you like to match the it. Rabbit, yes. So eventually, if I do get, if they do come out with more helmets, would this I'll swap be the colour without the space? Yeah. Ah, so it did ah. get printed, but the uh, the gold didn't get printed. Oh, okay. So it's got the white and the, and the uh, red on it, but not the gold part. I agree. It is the coolest thing here. I, I, I love colour spectrums, and it represents all of us. We're all somewhere on the spectrum. Yeah. Um, now. Talk to me about the box because you got this custom built by a friend. This is probably the hardest part of the entire build. Yeah, for sure. Get, I went to some framers and they were going to charge me like two grand or something. Wow. And then I remember I have a mate who works at a woodworking place and I went over and took it to him. He's like, oh, I could do it for 50 bucks because I know you just cover the costs. You just go and buy the, uh, the acrylic cover Rick for separator. it. And I'll set up the lighting for it and that's all it took. So what was the most challenging color to, us to put together in terms of parts? Uh, in terms of find, the biggest challenge is finding the color. Yeah. So the the old purple here was the hardest one. I ended up having to raid Judy from Brick Resale Supply that she had hidden out the back. And then there's some colors that are fairly common, but not common in useful pieces to cover a strip. So the nougars, the light nougar, and the medium oh, nougar. You had to resort to the nougar. Yeah. So you can see a lot of the other colors have a lot of variety, variety. pieces, and yeah. whereas that, I've just had to bricklink the pieces I could find that were. I still went for fairly cheap parts for it, but um, so is there is there any color that you're a new color from Lego that you're looking forward to coming out for to adding to the spaceman collection? Well, this I've got spacemen that I couldn't fit in here because there wasn't enough color to fit it, or right. I've got some custom chrome ones I did for myself years ago as well. Oh yes, I recall those. I'm not going to do a strip of chrome for no. every color. Uh, so. yeah. Yeah, I think we talked about that and, and how, just how insanely expensive it was. So how many been. strips of colours have we got? I can't time? even remember. You'd have to count them. Oh, here we go. And then we've got like the, the pearl, light pearl grey. Oh, sorry, light pearl gold. Yes. That's, Is that C3PO? That's pretty much the only parts that came in that colour. So yep. I've just kind of put that between two colours. Yeah, no, I've had to raid some pearl gold for my stuff, so. And there's a uh, light pearl grey. I think I've got one I haven't put anywhere and a old grey, both of the old greys. I got 44. 44? That's probably about right. It should be an even number. So, and speaking of Greebling, talk to us about uh, Grogu here. Uh, this is, I wanted to make something to hang in the house, so this was my first attempt at something like this. So I asked my son, who's sitting there behind his headphones, if he wants a picture for his his uh, bedroom for his birthday, and yep. he picked Grogu. Well, it was, he didn't have a name back then, it was Baby yeah, Yoda Baby back Yoda, then. Yeah. So this is what I came up with. And you can tell after doing this one, that one I needed a glass case on the front of it. A, plastic to keep the dust off because it's yeah. so dusty. Dusting is, particularly with Lego art, is the big thing. that The new Lego art that comes out with just the dots, Yep. You're trying to get the dust out of it is just insane. And you still have the hidden characters in here, right? Yeah, so there's a Mandalorian and a Grogu hidden in there somewhere. Yeah, so Mando's hanging upside down. With oh, don't, t don't tell me so I'll come back and look later. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. we won't tell you. Grogu's hidden somewhere in there. Okay. But you can see that there's a less... Uh, variety in pieces on this one so I think if I was to do one of these again yeah I'd take a more of an approach I did for the spectrum of space one where there's a lot more variety in parts and there's animals and I was actually tempted to raid one of the re retailers here at the show and grab a Darth Vader or something and hide it in the dark bits yeah uh, you fill it full of Star yeah, Wars get, characters I get now. a stormtrooper in the white bits it's yep. a whole new finder fig yeah yes. and to finish off your display you've got a little bit of your uh, Ghostbusters and yeah what? these are based on the are they maxi figs or mega yeah. figs I can't remember what they're called the Harry Potter and yeah, Hermione the, the set. New, mega, yeah, right. I'm calling them Mega Figs because Maxi Figs is a different thing right. that they build. So, yeah. So, this is a Mega. All right. So, you can obviously see that. Harry Potter's face used on Egon there. Yeah. And uh, Stay Puff I've had done for a while. So I remember you building that and trying to get the uh, the, the Navy thing right. And, yeah. yeah. So, that's 
I like. I think I prefer the Stay Puff because he kind of works in scale with a regular minifig. Yes. If you're just stick him in the city or something, you could chuck him in there. And I really want to do this guy. And he's got. You probably just swing it around the back there. I've done all the detailing on the well, proton pack on the back. He was your character that you used to dress up as when you did cosplay stuff. Wasn't well, he? he was the closest I look like. I've got glasses <laughs> so and you just, the hair. You got lumped with him. <laughs> we, we need to get from you the Stay Puff, but with the angry face, so you can have the four Ghostbusters shooting the proton yeah. packs at him <laughs> from the top of the building. And I spy something in the background, which is very exclusive. What are that? Well, I, that's not really for the show. I was talking to a couple of people about my Bricklink designer submissions that didn't get through. All right, well, I'm bring exclusive in. on Brisbane TV. Both of these were submitted on the design program for Lego Ideas. Yeah, and both of them rejected. <laughs> but you have had three successes on that, is that right? No, 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 I've had, that's Lego Ideas you're talking about. Oh, sorry. So Lego Ideas, I've got the Seinfeld and the Ghostbusters. Yes, yes. And this you can see is. there's some, uh, the wheel arches there are supposed to be blue. I was hoping the parts would arrive on the Exoplanet oh, right. Explorer. Yep. But um, I'll unfold it all because it has a little radar. It's all inspired by the classic sets of yore. We've got a rocket there at the back. Oh, yeah, Red right. Doors. Uh, ind independent suspension on all the tyres and then at the back. Oh, you're knocking it out of the park every time, Brent. Let me just place yeah, that one just... up. It's got like a scientific lab in the back there. And there's a little robot dude. It's showing off now. Look, that's it's just... kind of inspired by, uh, uh, what, inspired by the classic little robots you used to get. Yeah. With a bit of a mix of Johnny Five. Yes, Johnny Five is alive. Jeez. I mean, that's 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 a shit. Outstanding. Sh yeah. I, I just want one. <laughs> so I would have resubmitted When is it available? <laughs> well, actually, the instructions for the Exoplanet one are available because yep. you're allowed to submit twice to Bricklink Designer Program. Yep. But they give you a palette of what parts you have to work with, so yep. parts that are only in production. And the canopy is no longer in production in the latest series, so I can't resubmit that one. Right. And that one's already been submitted twice and rejected, so... I think the key is to also make a Blacktron version of that. That would be pretty cool. It'd probably yeah. be cheaper too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people have been inspired by your arcade because there's been many submissions of arcades. Yeah, now. there has been. Yeah. Well, mine wasn't the first and it's probably not going to be the last, but... Right. Uh, I probably will do instructions for this one at some point too. It's just a bigger project. That's like 2,000 something pieces. And it's got a fully functional interior and everything like that. It so. does, but not this one. Not this, this was, one, yeah. So what it, you'd have to build it digitally and then I would... You have to do like step-by-step -step instructions. So I'd yeah. follow my own instructions to make sure it's all buildable and works. Okay. And then I didn't bother with the interior because there's all like arcade cabinets and stuff inside. And, and I guess that's an important thing, particularly for someone like you who designs sets, is that it can look great, but it's got to be able to be built and yeah. not fall apart. Well, this one in particular, when I did the instruct the first pass of the instructions, it's got a, the front wheel has a rotation and independent suspension. So there's a big core system that goes up there to hold it all in place. Yeah. Right? And I built that as one assembly that it could just plop down in. And I went to go follow my own instructions. And I couldn't do it because there was parts that were in the road. I had to redesign the instructions yeah. to do it as one massive big assembly that went down. Sometimes digital designer can uh, fudge that collision thing and you, yeah, you yeah. end up not giving able to make it. So. Well, thanks very much for the behind the scenes tour, That's the right. current scenes tour, and we look forward to the future scenes. Yeah. You continually astound us with your abilities, Brent. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Great to have you as part of the club and on Brisbane TV. All right, thanks. Out.